Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this stroke text reveal animation in After Effects. This looks very professional and it's very easy to create. So let's begin. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. So let's call this main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080, frame rate 30 FPS and duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now we are going to create another composition for our text. So let's go to composition, new comp. And this one I'm going to call this character because we are going to type individual character for our letter. So I'm going to make the width and height 800 by 800 and rest of the things will remain same. Just click on OK. So we have the square comp. And in this one, we are going to type individual character. So for example, I'm going to type shadow. And for that, I'm going to select the text tool and let's click over here. So I'm going to just type the first letter, which is S over here. And let me just quickly select this. And you can see that its color is black. Let's change this to white. So we have our text. Let me just quickly select this and let's align it to the center, something like this. If you're not able to see the align panel, then you can go to windows. And from here, you can enable it. Also, let's make its anchor point in the center. So in order to do that, just select the text layer and hold on the control key and double click on this pan anchor tool. And now you can see that the anchor point is in the center. And for this example, you can use whatever font you want. I'm using this Montserrat black, but this should work with any other font. Once you're happy with your text, you can select this. Let's press S to scale this up a little bit. So I think this is looking fine. So we are happy with that text. And the next step is to add some strokes to this. So in order to do that, let's select our text. And on this one, I'm going to select the fill. So by clicking over here, you can set this to none and make sure that fill is selected and you can pick whatever color you want. After that, just increase the stroke amount using this slider. So for this example, let's set this to six. And over here, you can see we have our stroke and this does not have any fill. So for fill, we can select this, press Ctrl D to duplicate this and let's select the bottom one. And on this one, we are going to set the stroke to zero. And for fill, we are going to enable this and let's set this to black. So now you can see that we have the text which has this black fill and white stroke. So let's start adding some colors to our stroke. So in order to do that, you can select the stroke layer and let's right click, go to layer style. And from here, we can select gradient overlay. Now let's go under the gradient overlay. And from here, it's completely up to you. You can set the angle to whatever you want, but I want this to start from this side. So I'm going to set this to zero. So now you can see that it is going from black to white and we can edit the colors by clicking on this edit gradient and from here you can pick whatever color you want if you want to add new color then you can just click wherever you want and after that you can pick whatever color you want and let's pick this blue color something like this now if you want to play around with the position of the color then you can select these points and you can just move them and here you can see that we are able to see some changes but for this one we are going to stick it somewhere around here and you can also move these points to make the colors come closer, something like this. So once you're happy with this, just click on OK. So here you can see we have created this look. And once you're happy with this, we are ready to create more characters. So before we proceed, a lot of you watching right now have not subscribed to my channel. And I want you to please do that because I want to hit 100k subscriber this year on my channel. So make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon. So let's continue. So to create more characters, you can select the character comp and let's select this. Press Ctrl D to duplicate this. Let me just quickly select this one and I'm going to call this S to identify the character and we are going to type shadow. So this one should be H press enter and I'm going to change this to H. Now we can open this up and if you want, you can go under individual comp, then you can select the layers and then you can type your character, something like this. Make sure to change it on both the text layers. Otherwise it won't work something like this. Now there are two ways in which you can rename these layers. One is by simply duplicating the layer, then going inside the each comp and then you can just replace the characters or you can use a very nice expression, which I'm going to show you right now. So you can open up any composition and let's go under the text and let's open up the text and under the text source, you can hold down the alt key and you can click on the stopwatch to add this expression. So we're going to type this comp after that, let's type dot and let's type name. Now, if I click over here, you can see that this layer will get its name from the composition name, which we have over here. So for, for example, if I select this and I type a here, you can see that it will automatically change the text over here. So we can do the same thing for this layer as well. Let me just quickly undo this. Let's copy this expression and let's select this one and 
we can go inside this. Let's go under text, hold on the Alt key to add a expression. Let's press Control V. And here you can see that the name has been updated based on the name which we have over here. But if you don't want to do this, then you have to manually duplicate the layer, then go inside each of them and do it. So let's select this and I'm going to press Ctrl D and let's call this A. And if I go inside this here, you can see that it has already changed the character. So in the same way, we can type our full name. So SHA, let's duplicate this. Let's call this T. Let's duplicate this. Let's call this O and let's select this one. Let's duplicate this and let's call this W. So we have typed our letter shadow and now let's go back to the main comp and let me just quickly close all of these. Now over here we can drag our characters. So I'm going to type shadow. So S H and let's drag it one by one A D O and at the end let's drag W. So here you can see we have all the characters. Now let me just quickly select them and I'm going to select all the layers except the S and I'm going to move them to this side. Now I'm going to select the S and let's move it over here. Now I'm going to select H and let's move it over here and let's place it somewhere around here. So in the same way, you can select all the text layers and just move it closer and you can create your custom look something like this. And let's place it over here. Let's place O at this side and let's select the W and I'm going to move it over here. Now, if it is going outside, then you can select all the layers and then you can move them to the center. And let me just quickly place them and let's move the O somewhere around here and W I think looking good. So once you're happy with this, we are ready to create a new null object to control this. So let's select all of them and let's parent this to the null. So now we can select the null and we can control their scale and position however we want. So let's scale this to somewhere around here. If you want to change the position, then I'm going to quickly select all the text and I'm going to use the arrow keys to move them to the center, something like this. And if you want to tweak a couple of these, then you can just play around with their position however you want. But for this one, I think these are looking fine. So we are ready to add some animation to them. So first I'm going to select all the layers, then press P for position and let's go to somewhere around one and a half second. Let's add keyframe for position. And let's go to the very beginning. And after that, we are going to select the align panel. And from here, I'm going to align them to the center. Make sure that align layers to is set to composition instead of selection. And after that, let's align them to the center. So you can click here multiple times to make sure that all of these are in the center. So here you can see we have created this sort of animation and we can also add some scaling animation. So I'm going to select the null object and let's add a keyframe for scale and let's move it over here. And in the beginning, let's scale this up something like this. Now we can select the keyframes. Let's press F9. Let's go under the graph. And if your graph looks different, then make sure you are in the edit speed graph, not the value graph. Let's select the endpoints and I'm going to change the graph to look something like this. And let's select all of these endpoints and I'm going to make it somewhere around here. And now if I go back here, you can see we have created this sort of animation. Now let's quickly add some opacity. So we don't want all of these layers to be visible right now. So I'm going to press T and let's add opacity keyframe and let's move it over here. And in the beginning, I'm going to set them to zero. Now you can play around with their position and let's move them a little bit further apart so that these appear one by one, something like this. And let's move it over here. So now if I play back here, you can see we have our really nice text reveal animation, which is exactly what we want. So once you're happy with this, we are ready to add the reflection. So in order to do that, you can select all the layers, then right click, click on pre-compose and let's call this final text and just click on OK. And after that, I'm going to select this, press Ctrl D to duplicate this. Let's select the bottom one and let's quickly call this reflection. And then you can select this, right click and go to transform. And from here, we are going to transform this vertically and let's move this down below just like that. Now in order to make this into a reflection, we can select this and let's select the rectangle tool. Now I'm going to draw a mask, something like this. And after that, you can select the layer, press F to reveal mask feather. And let's feather this out, something like this. Now, if you want, you can select this, press T for opacity. And let's lower this down to something like this. 
Now you can see we have our reflection, but they are not aligned with the text. So in order to do that, let's select both of these layers and let me just quickly place them to somewhere around here. Then you can select the reflections, press P for position and let's add a keyframe for position. And in the beginning, I'm going to just move it down somewhere around here. And now if I play back here, you can see we have the animation and we can tweak these further by selecting the keyframes, then pressing F9. Let's go into the graph editor and we are going to do the same easing. So something like this. And now if I play back here, you can see we have this really nice shadow. We can also add some opacity animation in the beginning. So let's add a keyframe and let's move it over here and let's set this to zero in the beginning, just like that. So here you can see we have this really nice text reveal. And if you want, you can add some glow to this. You can select the text layer and you can search for glow and let's drag it over here. If you want, you can add an adjustment layer and add the glow on top of it. But for this one, let's stick with this. Let's lower the intensity down so that we have this very tight glow. Now you can select this, press Ctrl D to duplicate this and we are going to increase the glow amount and intensity, something like this. So here you can see we have created this very nice glow. If you want, you can play around with the threshold as well. Something like this, but it's completely up to you. So in this way, you can create these really nice stroke text reveal animation in After Effects. And if you want to add more text, then you can just go inside the composition and you can add multiple comps over here. And if you want to change the characters, then you can just go over here and you can change any of the name. And here you can see that it will reflect in this. So in this way, you can create these kind of animations and the project files for this tutorial is available on Patreon. So if you are supporting me over there, then you can download it from there. And if you are not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.